Jane is secretly taking a lesson in bridge. She wants to surprise Mr. Race when they play again. Mr. Race, meantime, has arranged a bridge game for his cranky old business partner, Mr. Neff, from whom he wants a favor. Mr. Neff likes to win at bridge, and Mr. Race figures there's no surer way than for Mr. Neff to play with him and Jane. This episode takes place in alternating scenes between the Ace's bungalow and Mr. Race's office. First to the bungalow. Jane and her bridge teacher are hard at it. Listen. Well, here it is, almost five o'clock, Mr. Jackson, and I don't seem to be making any head work at all. Quite right. No head work. Look, Mrs. Ace, I'm doing my best, and I don't think you are. Me? Well, I'm listening to every word you say. Your ad in the paper said you could teach me to play bridge. Well, that's all I want. I want to play perfectly. I can't do the impossible. Well, this is a fine time to tell me. Why didn't you tell me you can't do the impossible? I could have gotten some other... What do you mean, impossible? I heard that remark. Mrs. Ace, I've taught bridge for some ten-odd years. Well, they must have been very odd if this is the way you teach. My dear Mrs. Ace... (sighs) Please, Mr. Jackson, let's not get personal. I'm not getting personal. I'm trying to be as impersonal as I can. I'm trying to show you the fundamentals of a sound bridge game. I've been at this for three hours now. You don't seem any further advanced than you were earlier this afternoon. Well, why don't you concentrate a little more? Why don't I... My dear Mrs. A. Please, Mr. Jackson, I must remind you I'm a married woman. Married? I don't care if you're married or not. Well, I do. Now, let's just think about bridge. Yes, that would be a change. Yes, my husband will be home in an hour, and I don't want him to find you here. I want this to be a surprise to him. It will be, I assure you. Well, it won't unless I learn a little faster. Come on, let's hurry. Uh, Well, Mr. Jackson? Will you please pick up those cards, Mrs. Ace? Uh, Which cards? The cards I just dealt you. We'll hold a few hats. No, no, a strictly business. No holding Strict- hands. This is business. Pick up those cards. Uh, yes, sir. Look at them. Yes, sir. Now, I'm your partner. I play the Ace of Spades. What do you play? Uh, what do I play? Yes, this card. Which card? I said this card. Well, you don't point. Which card do you mean? This card, Mrs. Ace. This card. I want you to play a card on this Ace I just played. This card, a card. Let me see your hand. Play that card. Oh, that card. You said this card. I didn't know what you meant. I said this. D-I-S. This card. When your partner plays an ace and you have the king, you discard a card higher than a five to let him know that you have the king, you see? Well, don't look so blank, Mrs. Ace. That's not blank. That's thinking of a card higher than a five. Uh, Like a six, you mean? Like a six. That's marvelous, my dear Mrs. Ace. That's brilliant. Uh, now, now, Mr. Jackson. Now, do you understand that? I think so. A card higher than a five. If you want him to continue playing that suit, yes. That tells him that you're strong in that color. It lets him know what to continue playing. Let him know? Yes. But I don't want to let him know how to play. I want to play better than he does to surprise him. Well, of course. I, what? I'll let him figure out his own hand. Mrs. Ace, do you have to learn to play bridge? Do I have to? Why, sure, and by the night. Now, let's hurry, please. Don't worry about how he's going to play. Worry about me. Why should I tell him? Because bridge is a game of information. If you don't give him the information, he won't know what to play next. Well, well, fine. That's just what I'd like. Then let him see how it is not to know so much. How would it be if I gave him the wrong information and he made the mistake? The wrong yes, he says I'm always making mistakes. Let him see what it's like to play wrong. I just thought of that. Isn't that marvelous? Mrs. Ace, I... This is my temper. Mrs. Ace, am I correct in presuming that you wanted to learn to play bridge? Oh, sure. Come on. Look, it's after five. You've got to be out of here by six. I will be. Don't worry. Now, let me see if I've got the bidding right. Yes, Mrs. Ace. Let's see how much you've retained. Well, I have to bid if I've got two and a half tricks. Is that right? That'll do, yes. See, I'm catching on. Uh, now, let me see. And if I've got five tricks or more, I have to bid two of something. You'll sound bad. All right. Now, if my partner bids two of something and I haven't anything, I mean nothing important, then I have to say two notes on. Is that right, Mr. Jackson? 
Well, you ready to go? Oh, hello, Marge. Yes, I was just finishing up. I'll be right with you. Well, thanks for calling me to give me a lift home. Oh, that's all right. I wanted to talk to you before we got there. There's something I didn't want Jane to know. Oh? Yes, uh, we're having company tonight, after dinner. Well, who? Uh, Mr. Neff. Mr. Neff? Well. Yeah. Well, I've got a deal on, and I need to wheedle him out of some money out of this old guy, and I want your help. Me? Well, what can I do? Well, here's what it is. I understand that he's been in a pretty bad mood lately. He's been playing bridge at his club and losing. Playing bridge, T.Y. Neff? Yes. I don't believe it. Well, I didn't either, but it's the truth I found out from Betty. And the reason he's in this bad mood is because he's been losing. Oh, a cheerful winner, huh? That's it. Now, here's the plot. To get him into a good mood and then talk business with him, you see? And the way to get him into this good mood is to play bridge with him. Then when he wins, he's a cinch. When he wins? Yes, and what better place can he win at Bridge than at our house, especially playing against Jane and me? Oh, it begins to make sense. Now, you and he are going to play Jane and me. You get it? Me? Yes, you, and don't say no now. Oh, I'll play, but what makes you so sure we can win? What makes me so sure? You've seen the way Jane plays. Yes, but Well, all she has to do is to play her usual game, and how can we possibly win? Oh, I see. Well, the cards have something to do with it, you know. Not a thing. We had enough cards to choke a horse the last few nights. And what happened? We lost. Jane couldn't keep her mind on a game of cards under any circumstances. You know that. Yes, she does wander a bit. Sure. Now, all she has to do is to play her usual game, that's all. Then after the game, Mr. Neff, flushed with success, will be a pushover for me, you mm, see? Yes, it sounds good on paper. I hope it works oh, out. Oh, how can it miss? Come on, let's go. Not a word to Jane now, Mark. Okay. If I've got five diamonds and five hearts, I have to bid the heart first. And if I've got five clubs and five spades, I have to bid spades first. Is that right? Correct. Always bid the major first. Yes, and if I have the... Uh, say pardon? Always bid the major suit first. Uh, a new thing came in. What's the major suit? I never heard of that. The major suits are spades and hearts, and the minor suits are clubs and diamonds. <laughs> Sounds like a music lesson, doesn't it? Uh, major suits are spades and hearts. Uh, let me write that down here. Spades and... Didn't you ever hear of that before? I don't think so. Spades and hearts. And the minors are what? Clubs and diamonds. Oh, yes. Clubs and diamonds. Oh, I sure got a lot of notes here. I'm going to make a neat copy of this after you're gone and keep looking at it while we play. You can't do that, Mrs. Ace. Why? Because it isn't ethical. Oh, they won't see me. They won't... My dear Mrs. Ace. Now, now, Mr. Jackson, remember what I said. Mrs. Ace, will you please... I can feel my temper. Let's get on with this lesson now. What else do you remember? And uh, now, let me see. Did I say about the two and a half tricks to bed with? Yes, we finally got that planted. Oh, yes. Now, let me see. Oh, I know. I did the distribution no trump. Is that right? Correct. See? I'm surprised. See? It's really surprised. See? What is a distribution note trump? It, what? What does that mean? What does it mean? You just said you did the distribution note trump and you don't even know what it means. Well, you didn't tell me. I did tell you. It, it means that even distribution of cards, you've got stoppers in all suits. Some people play the strong note trump. Three and a half tricks are better, but you play the distribution. Oh, well, I better write that down, too. Distribution note trump means an even... That paper is so filled up with stuff, I don't see how you could possibly read it. Oh, I understand everything on it. See, here's the note trump. Here's the two and a half tricks. And here's about major minor. Here's rinse. Uh, rinse. What's that, I wonder? Rinse? I didn't say anything like that. Oh, I remember. I just put that in. I made a note to be sure to go to the beauty shop tomorrow for a rinse. I didn't go today, so I could take this lesson. This has nothing to do with bridge. It's just about my head. Yes, I can see that your head has nothing to do with bridge. <laughs> yes. Um, what else? Is that about all? I think that's about all I can do on such short notice. Would you like to play a hand just to see how it goes? All right. Do you think we'll have time? I don't want him to find you here now. I think we will. I'll just deal out four hands, sir. Oh, I can hardly wait till we play tonight. Tonight especially, because I want him to be proud of me on account of the man that's coming over to play. Mr. Neff, he's my husband's partner in the real estate business. He'll not only be proud, but won't he be surprised? I hope so, Mrs. Ace. <sighs> sure a hard game, isn't it? You have to be almost uh, smart, don't you? Almost, uh, yes. <laughs> I always thought of Ridge as just playing cards. You know, if somebody puts down a spade, you put down a spade, and so, so, and so, so. But the way you've told me, there's much more to it than that, isn't there? Uh, yes. 
Yes, Mr. Bates, there it is. Uh, it certainly has changed since I first started to play it. When I first started, all you had to do was pick up the cards and play. That's all I ever did. There weren't any majors and minors and tricks. Oh, the things they think of. Yes. Now, uh, suppose you'll pick up your cards, Mrs. H. Oh, yes. And that's another thing. Thirteen cards. I was always superstitious about playing the thirteen cards. I thought that's why I always lost. Now, the first is... What was that again? Because you had to play with thirteen cards. Thirteen's unlucky, you know. Thirteen... You know, Mrs. Ace, I'm getting more out of this lesson than you are. Oh, well, live and learn. Uh, do I bid first? Yes, yes. Go ahead. You bid. Well, now, let me see now. Well, where are my notes? Majors, minors, demand bid. Oh, here it is, demand bid. I bid two spades. Two spades, yes. mm-hmm. May I see your hand? Oh, no, you can't do that. Let me see your hand. Is that one of the new rules, too? No, I only want to see if you bid it right. Oh, well, look, I've got five tricks and all these spades, so I have to bid two spades. Is that right? Absolutely. It is? Yes, you bid it perfectly. Well, oh, I can't believe it. That's the first time anybody told me I did something right at a bridge game. Well, you're learning. <laughs> well, I'm dumb floundered. I'm proud of you. Oh, Mr. Jackson, really? Now, let me see my hat. I'm going to take you out in my best suit. Now, now, Mr. Jackson, I told you I'm a married woman. No, no, no. I mean that I'm, I'm a... And I bet you're married, too. Now, let's not do anything foolish. Just stick to the cards, Mr. Jackson. Will wonders never cease? Jane seems to have caught on to the game of bridge. We shudder to think what will happen when Mr. Neff comes over, which will be when next we meet the Easy Aces.